Hello everyone. We are going to be analyzing a styrofoam cup that's been taken far below the surface of the ocean. And so here you can see my beautiful drawing of a styrofoam cup and my very strange shaped ocean. Um, and it's at that height that you saw in the picture. So hopefully you looked at the picture because you're going to need that height. And we need the density of salt water. And we look on our equation sheet and we see it's 1,025 kilograms per cubic meter. And what else do we know? Hmm. Well, we know the diameter of the cup. Diameter is 3.2 inches. That means the radius is 1.6 inches. And we also know there's one inch per 2.54 centimeters. And so the radius, we can calculate 1.6 times 2.54. So that's 4.064 centimeters. We don't know too much other than that. We know that pressure varies with depth according to this equation. Oops. I put equals equals, but this is supposed to be a plus sign there. And so we can use this equation to figure out the pressure at depth. So the pressure equals, well, oh, P1, that's the pressure up here. Well, P1 is equal to atmospheric pressure. And atmospheric pressure is 101,325 pascals. We need a coordinate system. We may not need one. And the symbol of what we're trying to find, we're trying to find P2, should have a positive value and units of pascals. And we're also trying to figure out the force. And that should have a positive value and be measured in newtons. All right, so atmospheric pressure, 101, 325 pascals, plus the density of seawater. And that's going to vary from place to place. Not all seawater has the same density, but that's the value we're going to use for seawater unless it's specified differently in a problem. Times 9.8 meters per second squared times that depth that you looked up. Okay, and that's in the picture. And I just really want you to see that picture. That's why I'm not putting it there. And so we get a pressure. And it comes out to be... Let's see, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's 2.72 times 10 to the seventh pascals. And then we know that pressure equals force divided by area. So force equals pressure times area. And so force equals pressure times area. So the pressure 2.72 times 10 to the seventh Pascals or newtons per square meter times the area. Well, we know the area of a circle is pi r squared. So pi times the radius, oh, let's see, 4.064 centimeters times one meter per 100 centimeters. And we get a whole bunch, oh, not even on the screen. There we go. Get a whole bunch of parentheses going here. So this is the force here and this whole part right here is the area and so now we can fill that in we get 2.72 times 10 to the seventh times pi times 4.064 divided by 100 make sure that's in parentheses or you can do it ahead of time and so that comes out to be 1.41 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, times 10 to the 5th Newtons. All right, and as you can see, those answers don't match what was on my um, sheet here, but that's okay. I got them updated 
for your packet. 